welcome to the second um, lesson in my series of um, lessons on how to play this wonderful replica ancient Greek lyre, handmade in Greece by um, Lutherios, um, ancient and modern music instruments. And you can purchase this on the Etsy store um, if you see the links on my website um, in, in um, the um, navigation bar at the top where I've got a blog on the Lyre 2 project which is dedicated to reintroducing this wonderful lyre back into the modern world. Um, yeah, so the, in this um, second lesson, I'm going to show you some basics on how to tune this wonderful lyre. Um, some preliminaries first. You've got to forget all about um, modern major and minor keys, um, because on ancient Greek instruments, you've got to think in terms of the ancient Greek modes. Well, what were the ancient Greek modes? Basically, the ancient Greek modes are seven note scales, um, the technical word for that is heptatonic scales, and, and um, you imagine just the white notes of the piano keyboard without the sharps or flats. Um, you have a mode starting C to C, and then you have a mode starting D to D and E to E without any white notes. And each of um, the various modes, the seven modes in all, has a unique character. Um, regarding the actual character of the um, original ancient Greek modes, um, please also see my more detailed blog um, in the blog section of my website. That's www.ancientlyre.com. And the blog is entitled um, Composing New Music in the Original Ancient Greek Modes. Check it out. Um, so just briefly then, um, what were the original ancient Greek modes? Um, well, all the, uh, the names of the original ancient Greek modes were sadly misnamed in the Middle Ages um, and were stuck with the confusing terminology to today. So to go back to the original ancient Greek modes, well the, the first mode, um, the equivalent intervals of C to C on the white notes of the piano, this was called the Lydian mode. And to play this on this wonderful lyre, you just um, start from the bottom string And that's the equivalent of our major scale, basically. The next mode is the Phrygian mode, and that starts on a D. Now, this was misnamed the Dorian mode in the Middle Ages, but the original name for this mode is the, um, is the Phrygian mode. And this has a wonderful, sort of um, mournful quality to it. It's very, yeah, more, more sort of yearning sound. <laughs> The next mode is um, the ancient Greek Dorian mode, um, and this was misnamed in the Middle Ages the Phrygian mode or something, but this is the original ancient Greek Dorian mode, which was the equivalent intervals as E to E on the white notes of the piano. And you can start this mode on the third string up. Wonderfully intense mode, um, Aristotle. Um, and Plato mentioned this mode as um, being the most manly of the ancient Greek modes, but it also has um, a unique intensity to it, a um, very contemplative character. The next mode up um, is the equivalent intervals of F to F on the white notes of the piano. This is called the Hypolydian mode, and it's misnamed in the Middle Ages the Lydian mode. I mean, this has a really dreamy sort of quality, almost feminine quality as well. I think that's right. <laughs> yes. Um, so that's um, the equivalent intervals of um, F to F, the um, hypolydian mode. Moving up to the next note, and um, the equivalent intervals of G to G on the white notes of the piano, this takes us to um, the Hypophrygian mode. Now this was misnamed the Mixolydian mode in the Middle Ages, and um, that's I say it's the equivalent intervals is G to G. most famous um, known pieces of ancient Greek music, the famous drinking song, the Scolion of Sikolos from the first century, is written in this mode. That's just a few 
um, bars to quote that tune. Um, the next um, mode, starting equivalent intervals as A to A, so you count up one, two, three, four, five, six, six strings up. And um, oops, uh, where are we? <laughs> I've lost my count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, sorry, that's six. This is the Hypodorian mode. Now, this is sometimes called the natural minor mode, the basis for all our modern minor scales. And um, just like our modern minor scales, it um, has a melancholy sound, quite intense. Um, the next mode, up in, um, from that one, up to the seventh note, that's the final mode, um, the equivalent intervals as B to B. Um, it's a very odd one. Um, in ancient Greek times, it was known as um, the Mixolydian mode, but it was misnamed in modern times as the Locrian mode. And you hardly ever use that one because it um, has this rather unpleasant augmented fourth in it between the equivalent intervals as, uh, from B, a B natural to an F natural. So you can forget about that one really for all musical purposes. Um, so it's the, the, the other six modes that we're going to concentrate on. So that's just a bit of basics about the um, ancient Greek modes. Um, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to actually tune the lyre to each of these modes. And I'm also going to show you how to do um, the tuning in the authentically pure, just intonation of antiquity. So um, that's coming up next. Hope you enjoyed this um, little musical adventure in time travel. Mm -hmm.